Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Victoria Magazine, September of 1991. Look at this gorgeous scrolling bed frame with a little bird in the center. I love those flowers. So it says, creating a private world, romantic and serene. Two friends share the most charming of country years. You've done it well. Applause for Helen Hayes' portrayal of Queen Victoria and Time's first in our hearts. This is going to be so much fun. September, when it starts to cool off just a bit. Hopefully we'll start seeing some cozy textures coming in. I love that. And right now in the month of August, oh my gosh, again, I just love that. It is time to start thinking about cooling down. It's been crazy hot here. What are we going to find? So exciting. Hmm. What will we find? Here we go. The first day of school. Oh my goodness. School is coming up. Oh, you guys. Okay, so this. Hmm, this. We want to recreate this on top of our house here, and I can't wait. And these are actually the colors we're going to choose for our house eventually. It will be red and white with a white trim. Right now it's just solid white. And we did originally have a steeple for the church because we were living, we currently live in an old church. And we hope to recreate the steeple. They removed it, I believe, in 1939. They had a remodel and they removed it. It's so sweet. And look at those little shoes. Remember the socks in 91? The little frilly edges? I had a pair. I don't know about do you, but I sure did. A grown-up bedroom. You must have one. Oh. How about just a bedroom, period? I would love to have a bedroom at some point hopefully before christmas we're hoping that's gorgeous look at that little is that a cheese heart with raspberries i'm not sure but it looks delicious oh remember the lace work on the jessica mcclintock so oh this brings back so many memories they were everywhere are they still in business i don't know that looks very warm and cozy Look at all of the fringe work. Oh my goodness. That is a lot. <gasps> Stop it. I love this. That is amazing. Do you see that? The cascade of dried flowers. Isn't that amazing? I would have that like everywhere. Oh, look at the lace work. That's gorgeous. Oh, that's a beautiful little collage of objects. Tender care for hair, long or short. So I'm currently growing my hair out after having cancer a couple of years ago. It's finally growing out. Maybe it's down here. Oh, so exciting to have hair back. And for those of you out there who do not have hair, my heart goes out to you. It is so devastating to lose your hair, but it does come back. It does. It just seems like it never will, but it does. Savory jellies and sweet memories. I cannot wait to have a kitchen set up. Right now, my kitchen is currently half torn apart. Still works a little bit. We do not have an oven. We have a little tiny, little tiny top oven. And I can't wait to have my kitchen set up. So eventually we'll have a kitchen downstairs in the basement where it is right now. And then we'll have one on the second floor. So that will be our main kitchen. And the downstairs basement will be canning room, the arch room for candle making and jelly making and preserving food. And also, I think, slash laundry room at some point. So I can't wait. Eventually it will all come together and be worth it. I mean, honestly, look at this, the setup here with the plants and the books. Love that so much. If I didn't go through this whole period of waiting and longing, look at this stuff. Oh my gosh. 
overlooking a river that is so stunning. Can you imagine sitting there and dining and overlooking the water? Oh, that'd be like my, oh, what? I didn't even notice the little round. Look at the little round. That is so gorgeous. Wow. It's called the House of White Linen. I love that. So, okay, let's just sit here and enjoy this gorgeousness for a moment. I would die if I lived here. That is stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's the front cover, isn't it? Oh, I would love to have a bit. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. The colors, did, they did such a gorgeous job in putting this together. Look at the palette. It's so neutral. The bed is definitely the focal point and just framed out in white with the blue. So stunning. Oh, that was so beautiful to look at. And I love that wild, funny little cascade of flowers. Look at the clawfoot. So we have a clawfoot down in our bathroom, which I am not going to get rid of. Thank you very much. I claim that bathroom downstairs. We have two. We have like a little half bath upstairs and the full bathroom downstairs, which is the clawfoot and original. And eventually we'll put in an actual shower on the second floor, which will be the main bathroom. But what I was saying, if I didn't go through this transition period of crazy chaos, I don't think I would appreciate the end result as much. So I'm just determined I'm going to be positive about this whole thing and be so thankful for every little, um, every little thing that gets worked out during the remodel. And honestly, it didn't start out well to begin with. So meaning whatever they upgrade is going to be good because it was, there was nothing here when we kind of moved in first. Look at this collage. Look at all the, just the cream and whites. Look at that beautiful bag. And <laughs> look at the tights. It's winter. You gotta stay warm. Oh, look at that, the condensation. Oh my goodness, that makes me want some now. I'm quite thirsty at the moment. The tablecloth with just the greenery and the windows. Can you imagine having a greenhouse or a room that, oh, that'd be so amazing. Could you actually gather a collection of old windows and have a contractor put it together in a way where it would be um, a house or a room? Or could you DIY it yourself? How, how hard would that be to create? I mean, you obviously you would have to have like your, your poles, your weight bearing areas, but then could you fill it in with just with old doors and old windows that you scavenged? Could a person do that? Would I do that? Yes. Yes, I would. Oh, I love this wall. Okay, that's a bit much, but I do love the colors of it. I wonder who the artist is. There's a particular artist. I think it's, is it William Morris? Um, who creates the most amazing wallpaper? Oh, Gilbert Morris, I think. Is it Gilbert Morris? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I, I would love to do wallpapering. I'm like, this is messy in my house. Just seeing right now. It's kind of rustic. That lovely, lovely old oven. Oh my goodness. How fun would that be? Look at the flowers. They're grown so closely to the pool. Is it an actual pool like you can climb in or is it a water fountain? I love how it's just spread around as if it's a meadow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. People actually have a view like this. Uh, amazing amazing I must have a full-time gardener to keep this up because that's a lot of work I could do that full-time I could be a gardener and just do that all day long weed and plant and arrange just amazingly beautiful just incredible Once a vegetable patch, a sunken garden now displays ribbons of annuals. 
wait, I, I want my garden patch back. We need, although other gardens pay tribute to distant views, the sunken garden also showed on page 71 is a wall to protect its botanicals from sharp Michigan frosts. Where's page 70, 77, 71. There we go. It's a wall to save it from the frost. Does that actually help? When you wall a garden up, does that help save it? That doesn't make sense to me because it's going to get cold regardless. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. I could be. There's a lot of things I don't understand. And that's okay. A wealth of secrets to discover. I feel like this is telling a story of some sort. She's like, here, you must make this poultice. And she's like, no, I need it. I need the poultice. You know what? Looks like she's giving, she's like, no, I could go real dark with this one. Like, give me something. I need some poison. And then she crawled up. She's like, I will poison you. Just kidding. Pretend I didn't say that. Um, definitely a story happening there. I wish I knew what it was. I don't. Why is she climbing and creeping up there? Like, what is the purpose of that? It seems quite sinister to me. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Angela. Calm yourself. Calm your brain. Wow, this is an actual theater. Isn't it amazing how beautiful they were? All these old theaters are so, like, so much detail and design in every part. Even, wait, do those actually, like, yeah, they lift, like, they go up? Like, the, who, who makes stuff like this nowadays? Nobody. Look at all of the carvings on here. They're like, not only are we going to carve it, no, we're going to emboss it with detail. And a gilded. Look at this. Is that the original one? I love it. I'm all for the extra embellishment. Like, put all the artwork on it. Like, every single bit of artwork. I think it's so beautiful. All the lines are flowing and it's so cohesive and just gorgeous. The eyes just kind of want to dance along it. Oh, let's get a closer view. Look, not only are we going to inset, but we're going to carve out these flying dragons. Doesn't this literally look like a fairy castle, like something you would find in the queen's chambers or whatever, just like, that's crazy. And this was real life for people. This was their, maybe not their norm, but they, they oh, like that's just mind boggling. And this lady looks so happy in her dress. Let's see, that's such a good photo. I feel like that's, is that an actual photo from the era is very, very clear. You can even see like the shimmering on the back behind. And there's a, a rendering of the same exact dress. Is this a reproduction? reproduction then? I think this must be. Okay, this is a play, so that makes more sense. Doing it well, a line from Lawrence Houseman's play, Victoria, doesn't even begin to describe Helen Hayes, queen of both the 1935 drama and American theater. Not only has Miss Hayes devoted herself to memorable roles, but she is legendary for extending a helping hand to young actors. Oh, that's so neat. So that, that's the sketch, and then that's the creation of the dress. Yeah, costume design. Ha, huh, that's right. And there you are. She's like, oh. Are you going to kiss my hand? And he's like, your hand is so lovely. And she's like, no. <laughs> Fit for a queen. And of course that was the queen, Queen Elizabeth. Look at the, okay, see again, like this work. Look, no, we're not gonna make it straight and so, no, we're gonna swoop it. And around and down, so gorgeous to me. My brain tingles when I see things like that. So beautiful. Oh, I love their collages. I love it when they put together little collages because as you look at the page, you see all the little things. An apple for one. Well, obviously. There's glasses, your painting, 
little drawings. And that must be a paperweight or an inkwell. I'm not sure. Little drawings, something here, Young Ladies Institute, first rank of Latin. It's so neat. Oh, ooh, more. Okay, let's look at this one. So we have scissors, ABC, spelling alphabet, your flowers, your magnifying glass, a little doily with a little writing on it, something here presented to something, January 24th, 1861. And here's your paint palette, your uh, pen, I don't know. These are so much fun. And look at even the chalkboard is behind. Green. Ooh, it's time to bake. Yes, it is because you know what? It's September and the weather is getting colder. You need to start baking. Oh, that looks so good. What is this? What is this? This looks delicious. What is this sauce? Oh my goodness. I'm hoping. Uh, is it figgy pudding? I, oh, look at that collage. The hat, the books that are tied up, the little marbles, the paper parcels. I'm not sure what this is. I'm thinking it could be an apron. The flowers. Oh, they did such a good job on that one. Okay, I need the recipe for this though because that looks amazing and delicious. <gasps> I'm hoping green and white, so lovely and yellow, just little hints of yellow. Okay, this is Helen's Tea Circle from page 24. Chutney cheddar sandwiches on walnut bread and here's how to make the walnut bread. Okay, need that down. Ginger lemon, potato chive, cucumber. This is all from page 24. All right, hopefully they have the figgy pudding recipe. Page four, what was the 90, wait, 90, 94. Here's 92, Banbury cake pastries, yummy. Hot pepper jelly, herb jelly, savory jellies. Okay, figgy pudding, oh, here it is. Okay, let's, I wanna know what the sauce is though. Um, where's the sauce? Juice. Okay, set rack. Butter it. Small bowl of combined figs, lemon zest, and juice. Breadcrumbs, flour, brown sugar, and spices. Pour into a bowl. Cover with buttered wax. Okay. Serve warm with candleford custard. Oh, here it is. Okay. Two cups, half and half, one vanilla bean, three eggs, one fourth cup sugar, and ground nutmeg. There's the custard. Oh, figgy pudding with custard. Okay, you guys. That is amazing. I need to recreate that at Christmas or something. Look at this house. Look at that. Even the little tiny windows, each one has a covering. Wish we had those nowadays. Look at that, even how it swoops in and out. So beautiful, the architect. And I, architecture, and I talk about it every time because it just blows me away. Oh my goodness. Lovely cream tones with your green. Look at those windows. The whole wall is like a window. That is amazingly beautiful. Can they see the water out there? All right, we are almost to the end. This was such a beautiful magazine this time. Baskets with silver linings. I wanna try that pudding. Journeys in a brush stroke. I love those flowers. What is she, what is that? What are they drawing? Turn each leaf of this journal, discover the world of artists captured in words and well-observed watercolors. She's sitting painting stuff. Shells? Oh, here's more. Okay, this is what. Yeah, just different seashells, different things that she found. Look at that lovely journal. Look at that. 
gorgeous. Hey, those are the same, I think. Great minds think alike. Thank you very much, Miss Artist. There's her little palette, her collage, paintbrushes, paint, notes, inspiration. Ooh, book of beetles. That's interesting. Okay, what else is in here? And it continues. And advertisements, this time framed out in green. I think last time it was pink. There should be one little article left, and there you go. May your life be one sweet song. That's so neat. Thank you, everyone, for looking at this with me. So many fun ideas in here. Wonderful palette, collage palettes. Just so much fun. And I'll join you next time in October when it's even more cozy. It's the weather. It gets a little bit more frosty. Can you tell I'm excited for autumn? I'm excited. All right, I'll join you. I will see you guys in a couple days. So take care of yourself. Stay safe. Be happy. Find things you love and enjoy. I'll see you next time. Bye.